Hi guys and welcome to another video from Stupid is the Norm, the channel where we demonstrate how to become a millionaire in 10 years on minimum wage. And in this video I'm going to explain to you just that, a step-by-step -step process of how to become a millionaire in 10 years on minimum wage. Step number one. First of all I'm going to assume you're already working a full-time wage, so 40 hours. What you have to do is find another way of working another three or four hours a day over five days. Now, I don't care what it is you do, but you need to find an hourly rated job and work three to four hours. Don't let your ego, or your pride get in the way. What we're here for is to make some money. Don't worry about what other people think about yourself. So it doesn't really matter what it, what it is you do, whether you're delivering pizza or working for Uber, find a way to work an extra three or four hours a day. So if you're already working a 40 hour full-time job, it means you're going to be working 60 hours a week. I didn't say it was going to be easy, but it is simple. Step two, save as much of your earned income as possible. Save at least the extra 20 hours a week you're working. Personally, I save about 60% of all my earned income from cabbing. So now you're saving all this extra money, what you need to do is keep on working and keep on saving till you get to around 20,000 pounds. Now that took me two years working 363 days a year for two years. Again, I didn't say it was going to be easy and I didn't say you were going to do it quickly. It's going to take you 10 years. But once you've saved up the money, you've got £20,000, you buy a modest little two or three bedroom house on Teesside for about 65000 and you rent it out for £500, £550 a month. Now that means with the extra rental income from their first property, that the time it takes to save enough money, £20,000 or so, for your second property will be reduced. Step number three, you find a good lettings agency to find the tenant for you and manage the tenant. You don't want to be there yourself on a daily basis dealing with the tenant or getting phone calls in the middle of the night about drippy taps. That's what you pay the letting agent for and you'd expect to be charged about 10% of whatever the rent is to take all that hassle away, which means you can keep on working and saving for the next property. Now all you have to do is rinse and repeat. You do those three steps for the next 10 years and you'll end up with around 20 properties and you'll be a millionaire. The beauty of this method of becoming a millionaire is that you can start at any time. And I know it works because it's the method that I designed and I'm using. So if you're 20 year old now and you want to retire a millionaire at 30, that's great, it'll work for you. If you're 60 and you want to retire at 70, that's great, it can work for you. This method will work whatever, regardless whatever age you are and you can start now. It's almost like being the author of your own life. Your life thus far has been written by you. If you look back over the past and you don't like the life and you want to change it, you can do that today by taking different actions. So, you have no excuses. I've told you what to do. I'm doing it, it's working, and documenting how I'm doing it here. You have no more excuses, guys. Well, what are you waiting for? Don't be stupid and don't be normal, guys.